What's up guys, it's me Slyfox, and welcome to an Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, but this time, I'm going up against my friend Nick, so I'm gonna play the battle for you. So, this is just a Wi-Fi battle between me and my friend uh, Nick828, so, he's going, I'm gonna send in my Lycan Rock, my Dusk Lycan Rock, to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks, and he's gonna send in his Arbok, see if he can try and get some damage in. Um, he's gonna, his Intimidate's gonna kick in, and now I'm going to finally set up my Stealth Rocks on the first turn, but he's gonna withdraw, because he's going to predict that I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks, and I'm going to use that. So he's gonna try and counterplay by using Primarina, but since he switched in, I do get a free turn to get some damage on him. So I go for the Thunder Fang, because I have that type coverage for water types. And it does about half, and so he does the Sparkling Aria, which means it's going to definitely kill my, um, my, like, Dusk Lycanroc. So that's going to be super effective, and my Lycanroc has done its job, getting at least half damage in and setting up my Stealth Rocks. Next, I'm going for my Alolan Raichu this time, see if I can get some damage in, but he's going to switch out, knowing that I have a uh, Volt Switch and T-Bolt, uh, Thunderbolt. Now he's going to go for Malamar, which is a Dark Psychic type. And um, now the plant stones are going to do it. Now I'm going to predict the switch and go for the Thunderbolt. Go ahead and give it a lot of damage on his Malamar. Now he's going to withdraw the Malamar. And hopefully can go back to his Arbok. But I do have Psychic on this. But I'm pretty sure that his Arbok runs Crunch. So I think I Bolt Switch out. Yeah, I Bolt Switch out because I'm pretty sure I was like, Does Arbok run Crunch? I'm not too sure. So... Um, next I'm going for my Metagross, because I know that, um, I can definitely tank a, um, poison move, I guess. So now, he doesn't predict that my Metagross is faster than his Arbok, so I go for the E-Quake, and I hear him on the Discord call, and I'm like, whoa, he was like, are you serious? Like, Metagross is faster than my Arbok? I was like, I guess so. Next, he's gonna go for Talonflame, hoping to get some super effective, um... Uh, fire type damage. So he takes half damage because stealth rocks um, affect on type, adva type advantages and disadvantages. So since talent flame is fire flying, which is four times weak to um, rock type, it's going to take half damage. So he's going to go for the fire blast, but he's going to withdraw so I because he knows that I have t uh, thunderbolt in the back. So I'm going to go for thunderbolt anyway, uh, just to. Oh, next time I'm going. Actually, I'm going to go for volt switch. I haven't like. I actually like did this. Um, I was, like, practicing this commentary for this battle. Next, I'm going to send in my Naganadel, which is technically banned in, um, OU. But this is an OU setting, so this, um, so it's just a friendly battle. So I'm going for Nasty Plot. Here's where things start to get troublesome for him. He decides to go for the Slice Shock because I'm like, oh god, it's Slice Shock, I'm gonna die. And then it leaves me in less than half. And then he's gonna withdraw. And he's gonna send in his, a shiny Altaria. Now here's what I'm talking about with Naganadel being banned. You'll you'll see with, uh, within the rest of this battle. This is how the rest of the battle goes. I'm going to use the Toxic, predicting the switch. And then he's going to uh, get poisoned. So now I'm thinking to myself, what kind of dragon move does he have? Does he have Dragon Pulse? Does he have um, Dragon Breath? Um, but I'm faster than him, and I go for the Dragon Pulse. And watch how much damage this does. Absolutely kills him. So... The Altaria is going to go down. Here's where um, I just start to realize how banned, Negan why Naganadil was banned. My Beast Boost is Special Attack. So I have, since I used one Nasty Plot, it rose sharply, which means that I think it was two arrows, and now it's three arrows. I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse, which is absolutely going to murder the Malamar. And now he's looking at me, and he's just like, what the heck is going on? And I was like, well... Another Beast Boost, Special Attack, so this is like four arrows now. Next, he's going to send in the Sylveon, which is a fairy, pure fairy type. Um, Naganadel is Poison Dragon type, which means it takes neutral damage from fairy type moves. But since my Naganadel is faster and it uses Sludge Bomb, it's going to definitely take out the Sylveon. And he was just like, oh my god, dude. Please. So, I was like, oh my god, like this, this thing is a monster. Next, he's going to send in his Primarina at... F it's going to be less than half due to Stealth Rocks. And then I'm going to use uh, Sludge Bomb, and this is pretty much the battle. Like, he couldn't do anything else against me. 
And then his last Pokemon is Talonflame, but you'll see how powerful Stealth Rocks can truly be. I didn't really have to attack him because the Stealth Rocks was there to kill him the entire time. So he's going to send Talonflame as his last Pokemon, but it's definitely going to go down to um, the, the Stealth Rocks. So that was our first battle. I was like, are you kidding me? But I'm going to show you all three battles that I did with him. So that was the first one. Um, here's the second one where it was kind of more or less the same, but it was like just a little bit different of strategy. So I'm going up against Nick, and I've done this like three times with him. But um, he's going to send in his Malamar. And I'm going to send in um, my Lycanroc as usual to set up my Stealth Rocks and go ahead and get some residual damage on him. But this time, I don't go for the Stealth Rocks immediately. I try and go for the Stone Edge to just so I can get a little bit of damage on him. So next he goes for the Superpower, and I'm like, oh god, please, please let me survive. And then I survive, and I'm like, yes! Yes, I can finally set up my Stealth Rocks before I die. So I go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks so I can at least get some residual damage on him before I start attacking. Um, so, he's gonna start using superpower again, which I did not expect, so, I was like, alright, um, now he's gonna, uh, raise his attack and defense, so now it's gonna be, um, this is like a much longer battle than the last one, so now I'm gonna send him my pre-marina, because I know he's dark psychic type, so fairy types can, um, destroy dark type Pokemon, and now he's gonna send in his Arbok, but I don't think he knew that I ran psychic on my pre-marina. So, both his and I, Primarina, both of our uh, Primarinas run Psychic, but I kind of didn't predict the switch, so I just went for Moonblast, which does big dick damage, and it got a critical hit. I was like, are you serious? And the special attack uh, drop. Then I um, withdraw my Primarina, thinking that my Arbuck, his Arbuck was going to be faster. So now I go for Metagross, and he goes for the Poisonium Z move, Acid Downpour, which does not affect my Metagross, surprisingly. I was like, wow, he actually went for the Poison Z move, trying to go all or nothing. But then it says it doesn't affect Metagross, and I was like, are you, like, are you serious? Wow. So I go for the E-Quake, and he's dead. So. Yep. And now he's going to send in his Malamar. Because dark types, um, steel types don't resist dark types anymore, I think. And same goes for ghost type. So I'm going to use Hyper Beam, which he did not expect out of my Metagross. I taught Hyper Beam to my Metagross just for that case, too. And it was a crit, unnecessarily. So, um, he's now going to send in his Talonflame. But this time, instead of switching out, I'm going for the Psychic. Because at this time, I have the Twisted Spoon. Which boosts, which boosts um, psychic type moves. Now he's gonna go for the Brave Bird, which was something I kind of did not expect from him, especially since his uh, Talon Flame does run Fire Blast. But he's gonna get. Um, I'm gonna have to recharge, which means that um, he's gonna go ahead and go for the Roost to get back some more HP due to the Stealth Rocks. <sighs> um, I'm gonna go for the Psychic this time. And it's going to do a I was going to say a lot. It does about maybe 45% damage. Um, now I'm going to go for my uh, Alolan Raichu, which he's going to use Fire Blast, and it misses this time. And I'm like, oh, yes, 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 yes. So now he's going to go for Sylveon, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Thunderbolt. He's gonna, I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. Hopefully I can get a Parization. Paralysis, and I don't get the paralysis like I ho hoped I would. So this time I'm going to go for Volt Switch, because I'm pretty sure that um, Psyshock is not going to really do much to my um, Alolan Raichu. But this time I go for my Naganadel, so he kind of predicts that I do that. And here he goes for the Light Screen, which is something I did not expect him to have for a Sylveon. Um, he's going to withdraw, because he knows that uh, since he keeps his Altaria, I mean not his Altaria, his Sylveon... He's going to keep the Altaria, and it's shiny again. So I'm going to go for the Toxic as usual. And this time, instead of sweeping the entire team, I'm pretty sure he goes for Sky Attack? I think? I think he goes for Sky Attack. Now, at this time, I go for Dragon Pulse, and I think he lives for some reason, because I didn't use a Nasty Plot. Yeah, I didn't use Nasty Plot, so he lives. 
So he goes for sky attack, and then I'm like, okay, um, do I'm gonna go for a nasty plot. Hope I'm gonna go for the nasty plot, knowing that he's gonna die to toxic poisoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up a nasty plot and see once um I was like once I can get this down, I'm gonna go ahead and get a beast boost. But little did I know that I was actually incorrect because um I go ahead and take less than um that does a chunk of damage to me. Um Altari is gonna go down to the toxic poisoning, and now he's going to send in his Talon Flame, which is going to take a lot of damage from the Stealth Rocks again, leaving him with one HP. And in the Discord call, he was like, um, he's gonna go for Roost this time, but um I was pretty sure that he was um that this Talon Flame is much faster than I was. So I go for the Dragon Pulse, hoping to take it down. So it leaves him with little HP left, and he and this cause of light screen, and he goes. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. So, he's gonna die. I'm gonna die. He's gonna die. We all, we're all gonna die. I'm gonna die the Brave Bird. He's gonna die the Recoil. Um, my Naganadel is down, and I'm pretty sure he, in his, 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 like, inside self, is thinking to himself, like, Yes! I finally freaking took out that Naganadel. Let's go! <clears throat> so, um, next I'm gonna send in my Beware, which is a Pokemon I haven't sent out yet in one of these battles. So Beware was not too hard to find, but it's a pretty good Pokemon. It's faster than the Sylveon, which is what I, one thing I didn't expect. I go for the Double Edge, hoping just to take it down pretty quickly. And then I get barely any damage recoil out of it. Next, he's going to send in his Pre-Marina. But this time, like this turn, I'm going to start setting up my um, Workups, which allows my attack to raise, I think, and special attack. I think it's attack and special attack. Either that is just attack or, yeah, it's just attack and special attack. Now he's going to go for the Moon Blast, which does so much damage that I actually die. So, Teddy's going to go down. And now I'm going to send in my Alolan Raichu. And I'm pretty sure he's going to, um... He's not going to switch out because this is the last Pokemon. So now I'm going to go for the Shattered Psych, which is the Psychium Z move. Which I'm pretty sure he did not expect for my Raichu to have. Because with Raichu, most people expect for an Electrium Z, which is um, Gigavolt Havoc. But this time, I'm going to go for the Shattered Psych. And you're going to see how much like how cool these Z moves are really are cinematically. So he lives with just a little bit of HP. He, he goes for the Blizzard, and I'm like, please don't freeze me. So it does over half, which is a critical hit, and I was like, please don't freeze. He doesn't get the freeze, and then I go for the T-Bolt, and that is the battle. So, these battles were extremely good with my, um, my friend Nick. And so I defeated him. I'm gonna take a quick, uh, camera adjust really quick. Alright, so we're back, and this time is going to be our, um, third and final, uh, Wi-Fi battle. So, this is about that time when I didn't have a Naganadel, and I just had an Arcanine on my team instead. So, I'm going up against him, and he's going up against me once more. So, I'm going to send in my Dusk Lycanroc again, as the same two battles before. Um, he's going to send in his Arbok, the same two times before. I'm going to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks, because I don't think he knows how to deal with it just yet. I'm going to have to have him research that. Um... I'm not, I'm not going to tell him. I'm going to let him figure it out. I, I know how to deal with it, but I'm not going to tell him. Um, he's going to go for the Mud Bomb, which is something I did not expect on him. Um, it does bear just a little bit. So I'm now going to go for a Switch Out because I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this for a Pokemon later in his party. So now he's going to go for the Glare, which paralyzes your Pokemon and um, misses. And I'm going to go for the Psychic. And it does so much damage that it one-hit KOs him. And I was like, wow, Arbok. Um, in the special defense department, probably not that good. Quick camera adjust. Okay, so the previous turn before is where he's going to use Crunch on his, on my uh, or Lila, uh, uh, Alolan Raichu. And I go for the Brick Break just so um, I can protect myself from Dark-type Pokemon. Now he's going to go for the Protect. And I was like, alright, you're going to protect. I'm going to go for the Brick Break again. But this time... Um, I'm gonna go for the, uh, he's gonna try and go for another Protect, but it fails on the second time. So you kinda have to pitter-patter it, so you have to, like, pattern up. Protect, another move. Protect, another move. So, um, next he's gonna send in his Malamar. I don't know, this, I don't know why, but this Pokemon is really threatening in the XYZ. 
in the X and Y anime. But this time is about the time when I didn't have Volt Switch and Thunderbolt. So I um, then had Thunder and Thunder Wave. So Thunder Wave is a pretty good move. So it's just um, it's just going to paralyze his Pokemon. And it gets paralyzed. So now that I have the paralysis, I'm going to go for the Thunder. But it misses. And I'm like, no! And then he goes for the Foul Play, which is double the attack power if your Pokemon goes second. So I'm like, ah, oh, really? Now I'm going to send in my uh, Primarina, and he's going to switch out his Malamar to not um, risk taking a, a very powerful Moonblast. Next, he's going to go for his Kartana, which is Steel uh, Grass type, and it's an Ultra Beast. And now I'm going to go for the Moonblast, which is, he's going to resist it. But look how much damage it does! And that wasn't even a critical hit! So I'm going to um, switch out to prevent myself from getting taking like a Leaf Blade or something. So now I'm going to send in my Arcanine, and I just predicted that he was going to go for the Leaf Blade, and that still does too much damage, even on a Fire-type. So now I'm going to go for, he's going to go try and go for the Guillotine, which is a one-hit KO, and now I'm going to go for the Flame Burst, and he misses the Guillotine, and I'm going to go for the Flame Burst, and he's going to die. Whew! Yep. He's now going to send in his Pre-Marina, and that's Water Fairy typing, and now I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to now send in my Metagross, so I can, like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I was like, okay, he's Fairy-typing, Steel-types can super affect Fairy-typing, but I was like, oh, wait, Water-type resists fair, um, Steel-typing. Oh, no. But now he's going to send in his Talonflame, which I'm like, okay, buddy. So I'm going to go for the Meteor Mash, and it does... Kind of adjust a little bit for not being very effective. So I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna switch out, and I'm now gonna send in my Lycanroc to deal with this um, Talonflame here. And now he's gonna go for the Brave Bird, which is not gonna do very much on me because I'm a Rock type Pokemon. So um, it's not gonna do as much. So He's gonna have Steel Wing now, which I did not expect him to have, and I was like, "What? Are you serious?" He per he probably personally taught his um his talent playing Steel Wing just to deal with like Rock types and another and other annoying Pokemon. So now he's gonna go for the Brave Bird, trying to take me down with him, and the Brave Bird does a lot of damage. Um, surprisingly, Talent Flame is a very good Pokemon, but not in Generation Seven. I think they kind of nerfed Talent Flame just a little bit from Generation Six. But I'm going to go for the Sparkling Aria, which fails because um, his um, Talonflame died earlier. And I think this is his second to last Pokemon. So now I'm going to bring back my Prim uh, my Primarina. And I'm going to go for my Metagross, which I don't think has Hyper Beam at the time. But now he's going to go for the Psychic, which I can easily resist. Because it's four times resistant to Steel types. And since it's a Steel Psychic type, I can just spam Psychic, and you're probably going to die, because I have the Twisted Spoon. So now, back and forth, we're just using moves a lot. It's just really hot in this room right now. And I'm going to die, surprisingly. I'm like, what the heck, are you serious? So, now I'm going to send in my Primarina. And now we're going to start spamming um, a bunch of moves back and forth. And now we're both going to start be spamming Psychic and stuff. Um... I live with 6 HP. Now, I'm going to go for the Psychic, and it does a lot. Now, I'm going to switch out to not prevent myself, to prevent my Primarina from dying and then losing this battle. So, I'm going to go for my Arcanine, and he's obviously going to go for the Psychic, hoping that, not like, not predicting that I was going to switch out to my um, Arcanine. So, now I'm going to go for the Extreme Speed this time, which is going to um, kill him because it's more of a, it's a much more powerful quick attack. So... Um, next he's going to send in his Malamar, and I'm now going to go for the Furium Z move, Inferno Overdrive in this turn, which is going to end off the battle, GG's Nick828, I will hopefully try and get back some more, uh, Wi-Fi battles, because these battles are extremely fun to do, and they were pretty close, too, with both of us being on kind of the same skill level. So I'm going to go for the Inferno Overdrive, and that is going to be the battle. So thank you all so much for watching. This has been Sly Fox 2019, and I hope that you all um, will go see the rest of my videos and live streams. And I hopefully will live stream today around 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. 
So, thank you all so much for watching. As I just said, stay awesome, Sly Crew, and have a fantastic day.